Hi, Wayne. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, just one on, on Aguero. You obviously scored more goals than him, so you're well placed to say this. Was he the best foreign import we've ever seen? I mean, you played with the likes of Eric Cantona, and this week has been City's, City's best ever player. Has he been the best ever foreign player we've seen in the Premier League? Um, it's a tough one. He's certainly up there. I'd probably say Thierry Henry is the best foreign player um, to play in the Premier League. But then closely behind that, there's probably a group of, of five or six players. I think Aguero is one of them. Um, Ruud van Nistelrooy, Dennis Bergkamp, um, Eric Cantona. So there's some fantastic players who've, who've come in from different countries and, and left a real impact on the Premier League and on English football. So... Um, he's certainly one of the Premier League greats, that's for sure. I think Aguero's a fantastic player. Um, and my goal at Sunderland is nothing to do with Sergio Aguero. I think he's an outstanding player. He's been an absolute revelation um, in the Premier League. Um, one of the best strikers in the world. Um, his goal ratio is incredible. And I'm sure he'd be missed at Manchester City. Um, and I'm sure the Premier League will miss a player of his quality. So um, from my point of view, I'd just um, like to congratulate him on his, his career over here, um, whether he stays in England or not. Um, obviously, I don't know, but he certainly had a fantastic career um, with Manchester City. I think it's every individual um, has their own right to do what they feel is right for them. Um, whether you, you come off social media or whether you stay on. Is it the answer? I'm, I'm not sure. It's something which um, everyone will have different opinions on. Um, for me, it's, it's more a case of um, I don't really get caught up. I used to, I, as a young player, I used to get caught up on social media. Um, I don't really get caught up on it no more, but um, I'm sure Thierry is doing it, um, trying to make a stance against all the, the hatred. Um, but also, I think it's down to the individuals who are who are actually creating the abuse online to really look at themselves and and know that it's not acceptable. Um, how we, how we control that? Um, I don't know. I'm sure more people will come off social media um, for the abuse that a lot of people are getting seem to be getting online. Um, but is it the right answer or the wrong? Is it the right way or the wrong way to go? Um, I don't know. I'm sure. Um, each individual will make their own minds up on them. And finally, in the next three or four weeks, Jose Mourinho is going to rack up a thousand games as a as a as a manager. You'll get there eventually. Um, Sir Alex Ferguson, who you played under, obviously, likewise is part of that club. How difficult is it? I'm not going to ask you to compare the two, but how difficult is it for a manager who's been managing for that long to have managed a thousand games to keep their hunger? to adapt with all the times and all the, the, the decades that go by from what you saw with Sir Alex? Yeah, I think first, incredible achievement to, to manage for a thousand games um, at the top level as well. Um, so it's a fantastic achievement. Um, but I think for someone like Mourinho, like Sir Alex Ferguson, who it's clear when you speak to them, they love football. Um, that's what they know. They want to be part of football and things may change within the game. Um, I'm, I'm obviously, they, they'll change the teams at the right time. So um, when you you want to be part of football, when you want to manage, when you want to continue to work and still get enjoyment out of it, um, then to get a thousand games, um, I'm sure is doable if you get the right opportunities. But I have to say it's an incredible achievement from Jose um, to reach that, that that milestone. And he's still got the hunger to go and win tr trophies, which I guess is is just as impressive. Yeah, well, that's why um, you want to you want to get it to the end of seasons, or um, you want to win trophies um, as a manager. Also, you want to win trophies, so to have that hunger, um, I don't think he. He'd like settling for second best and not winning trophies, and that's why he's won a lot of trophies in his career.